I don't do intros. How you guys doing today? I'm doing all right today. Today I have another Lords of the Fallen video for you guys here today. We are using the Queen's Head Hammer on a Strength Inferno build. Um, as far as I've found, and, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but this is like the highest AR weapon in the game that I've found. Um, like most of the Grand Swords get up to like 800, 880, something like this. This hammer gets well over 900. <laughs> And uh, we'll talk about this, and we'll talk about the vitality stat and what I think about it in this game. Uh, that's the health stat, by the way. And, uh, and all that stuff, man. But before we do that, guys, if you guys wouldn't mind liking and subscribing to the video, man. Trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the year. And we're in November, and we are less than 20 subscribers away from 1,000 subs. We're like... 984 or something like that as I'm making this video so it would mean the world to me guys if you guys would help me get to a thousand subs man it would be amazing um, also go follow my twitch if you haven't already we just passed 100 followers on twitch so that's also exciting as well and I'll be streaming a lot this week uh, probably a little bit of Dark Souls 1 some Elden Ring invasions we'll see we'll see what we get up to um, with that being said guys let's talk about this build uh the queen's head hammer and i also want to talk about the vitality stat in this game and why i don't think it's balanced very well for pvp uh granted the devs actually talked about how they're going to split uh balance between pvp and pve that is exciting because uh right now balance uh in pvp is is uh non-existent um, as well as all the netcode issues and whatnot. You can still get enjoyment out of invasions in this game, trust me, you can. Uh, if you're willing to deal with uh, all the connection problems and whatnot. Uh, but let's talk about this weapon. So this is the Sundered Monarch's weapon. I'm actually using uh, both his weapon and the shield in this uh, gameplay here. We're using the Queen's Head Hammer and the Heavy Memento. The Heavy Memento is the best shield in the game, hands down. It's fucking insane how strong the shield is. And uh, as you can see, with one R1, I did like 1,300 damage to that guy. Um, what's funny about that, um, doing <clears throat> 1,200 damage and 1,300 damage with one R1 uh, with an insane weapon like the Queen's Head Hammer, which is an Inferno strength weapon, uh, is that you can't even... Th I did 1,900 to that guy. You can't even have 1900 HP. You can't even have 1300 HP in this game. Uh, well, maybe you can, but like you would have to stack like a bunch of health stuff and whatnot. Um, I personally don't even think it's possible. You may be getting 1200 at most. Uh, at most. Uh, but that's if you stack like everything towards your health. And it won't even matter anyway because I do 1200 in one R1 anyway, as you can see. Um, so I guess that's kind of what I wanted to talk about with the health stat. Is that it pretty much hard caps at 60. And at 60 you just get over 1000 HP. That's not enough to survive this weapon. That's not enough to survive most things in PvP. Uh, there's some spells out there that do more than 1,200 damage to you. Um, so that tells me that this game is probably more of a game that relies on your defenses more than it relies on your HP. Uh, like, it also tells me, like, the only real reason you would want to level your HP uh, to, like, past 45 is, is for the weight requirements. So if you guys are out there doing lightweight builds, consider, like, dumping more damage because uh at least in pvp and pve i think the health actually is really really useful um i do wish you still had more hp uh in pve though um but in pvp man it's it's like this guy can't survive one attack from me see he literally can't survive a single r1 uh because the game doesn't give him enough health to do it. And uh, that's insane. But if you guys are curious about this weapon and, and, and the gear and stuff I use for this video, it's all right here. I'm going to show it off right now. Um, 
yeah, this weapon's fucking crazy, guys. Um, but with that being said, guys, if you like this kind of content, this kind of PvP content, this kind of Lords of the Fallen, Elden Ring, Souls-like invasions and duels, I do it all. And, uh, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, man, trying to get to a thousand subs before the end of the year, and we're so close, guys, we're less than 20 away, and then we'll you guys hit the sub button. Uh, go follow my Twitch if you haven't already, of course. And, uh, with that being said, guys, fare thee well, peace out, and all that fun stuff. And don't you dare go hollow, friends.